Winter in cattle country can pose numerous challenges for cow-calf producers. Harsh conditions and hungry cattle leave no room for unreliable equipment. In the early 70s, big round balers were introduced by the Vermeer Corporation out of Pell, Iowa, and they truly revolutionized the hay uh, industry, the cattle industry, especially the cow-calf side of it. Instead of a, of a farm or a ranch baling thousands and thousands of little square bales and manually handling them all, now you could do that all with a, one big machine. And that was great at the harvest side of it, not so great at the feeding side of it, because all of a sudden you've got these giant hay packages and no way to handle them. And we were trying to keep some cattle fed in multiple locations, um, and we needed a way to do that with a pickup uh, instead of a tractor and we were feeding big round bales uh, at that time, uh, Vermeer uh, 706C bales, six foot wide bales. And so I had considered purchasing a bolt-in bale handler for a pickup. That wasn't gonna work because we could only afford one pickup and there was no way to make that truck also work for trailer towing and things. So that summer of 79, I decided to um, see if we could incorporate a flatbed and a bale handler all into one thing. Triple C Inc located in Sabetha, Kansas, provides cow-calf producers with proven products manufactured to thrive in the tough operating conditions on North American ranches. Well, Triple C is located in Sabetha, Kansas, and we have uh, roughly 30 employees, um, some of which use our, own e our equipment on their own uh, operation. Uh, we go to market with our equipment um, through about 100 dealerships. Um, most are located in the United States, and we have a few in Canada. Triple C is known for the hydro bed. Uh, it was the first flatbed bale handler uh, introduced to the market in 1983 and uh, the hydro bed is known for its ruggedness and dependability. So it will handle and unroll round bales. It's especially helpful for the rancher who is, uh, whose, whose operation is spread out. Uh, he no longer has to handle bales and, and uh, either have a tractor in each location. He can, he can use his everyday truck uh, to, to feed in multiple pastures. The most popular uh, other piece of equipment that Triple C manufactures is the Hydra feeder. Um, it's a supplement feeder that's in uh, both available in a 1,200 and an 1,800 pound capacity. It's typically driven by the, the hydraulics found on the Hydra bed, but there's also uh, the electric drive option. You know, each feeder comes with a programmable digital in cab display uh, so he can meter out how many pounds uh, he's feeding. Another popular option that we offer is the Across the Bed Toolbox, which was an innovation of Triple C uh, dating back to 1990. It, uh, it fits in right behind the headache rack and is a good utilization for space that's not taken up by the round bale that's on their, the deck of their bed. We also manufacture the Hydra PhD, which is a hydraulic post hole digger. The Hydra PhD has really uh, simplified life. Uh, for, for many ranchers, especially the ones who, who are spread out and have, and have a lot of fence to fix. Instead of having to load up a, a skid loader on a trailer and take it out to, to the job site, uh, he, can, he can just use his hydro bed, utilize the hydraulics found on it, uh, attach this post hole digger to his driver's side arm, and, and, and dig holes of either a 6 inch diameter, 9 inch diameter, or, or 12 inch diameter. Triple C started a revolution in round bale handling and feeding in 1983 with the introduction of the Hydra bed, the first flush mount self-storing flatbed bale handler. We spent um, from 1979 through 1983 just using the thing. In 1983, in the summer of 83, we decided that in response to friends and family, neighbors who said, you know, you really ought to think about commercializing that. Well, we had no clue what that meant. We're just a couple of farm kids trying to make a living. So we headed out one day uh, to talk to some manufacturers to see if maybe they would be interested. Well, unfortunately, 1983 was in the worst of the farm crisis of the 80s, and none of the manufacturers could add any new products. So we came home with our tail between our legs, and about halfway home, Linda said, well, I said, well, I guess this is done. We'll just keep using it ourselves. And she says, no. She says, we'll do it ourselves. By December of 83, we were ready to sell our first unit. We had no idea if anyone would buy it. Lo and behold, a rancher from Northwest Kansas, a big rancher named Otis Dewey called and actually after several calls and dialogue, 
placed an order and we were flabbergasted. So that's how we got started. Beef Magazine's 2015 Seed Stock 100 lists Fink Beef Genetics as the nation's 12th largest seed stock producer. Fink Beef Genetics has been utilizing hydro beds on their operation since 1987. We started in 1977 with one cow and I think about $4,000 in the bank, uh, no land or anything. So we had jobs and tried to run a few cows on the side. Uh, I left the university in 1990 and then we've, we've just expanded since then. Uh, we sell about 700 Angus and Charlay bulls uh, now and uh, probably continue to keep growing that with our daughter Megan when she comes back from the ranch. And hydro beds work good year round, but we have really good experience with them in when it gets really cold. Go out in and, and different pastures, uh, get the cows fed and get them fed a lot quicker. It's just so much more convenient. Uh, it saves a lot of labor on, on our part and the more cattle fed. And especially in snowstorms and things like that, as long as the truck will get through, I've never ever worried about the hydro bed not performing its part when we got done. Our operation is a lot different than some. We run a lot of different pastures of donor cows and different age cows and different flushing times, a lot of things like that. We're kind of scattered around some different uh, pastures. So the hydro bed works really good for us, be able to pick up one bale of hay and drop an amount in different pastures, pick back up and, and finish up the bale in other pastures. So it allows us the convenience of moving from pasture to pasture and feeding different amounts of hay and uh, sped up our feeding probably by half. It's been maintenance free, it's heavy made, we like it real well. If it's a really nasty day, actually everything can be run from inside the cab uh, uh, without everybody getting outside if they don't want to. And uh, my help uh, that we have certainly like that, including my wife. Well, from the very beginning when we first bought these uh, hydro beds, we were a mom and pop business, so there was just the two of us. And so I have to do chores on days when Galen can't. When he's around, he does chores, but when he's gone, I have to do the chores all by myself. So they've made a big uh, impact in my life because I have a, a truck I can drive out and, and feed these cattle carefree and not worry about not getting my task done for the day. The type of cube feeder that we had on there prior to that was basically gravity flow. You just have to, with a cord, uh, let the arm down to feed a pile and then drive, put it back up and drive a few feet and let it back down again. So it was a lot of arm usage on that old feeder. And uh, with the new harder feeder, it's just a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier for me to use because I can sit inside and use the remote and push that button and drive along and dump piles every so often and stay inside and where it's warm. Uh, we've purchased seven hydro beds uh, from the Miller Ranch Equipment out of Alma, Kansas, which was Carl and Connie Miller that run that business. Miller Ranch Equipment of Alma, Kansas has been a hydro bed dealer since the business began in 1985. I love agricultural people. They, they, there's a uniqueness to us. There's a, we have a trust going on and our main clientele goes anywhere from a full-time rancher with you know, quite a few head of cows and they'll have two or three hydro beds on the ranch down to a uh, part-time farmer who needs to be able to feed cattle when they get home from work and they want something that is dependable that they can, they can use for other purposes besides just feeding cows and they can use that truck. Maybe they take that, drive that truck to work. But in the evening they can go out and they can feed their cattle and uh, they can do it from the comfort of their cab instead of having to get the tractor out or pitch hay off. Our clientele is the Flint Hills area of Kansas, and uh, which is some of the best grassland in the world. Kansas winters can be anything from a nice, warm, sunshiny January day on up to uh, the cold and snow up to here, and they use the hydro bed to uh, get to the cattle and to feed, but there's so many other uses for the hydro bed besides uh, feeding cattle. They'll use to move cattle panels to um, a four-wheeler. They can load a four-wheeler with chains with the spinners and put it on the bed, and then they can go out and check pastures 15 miles away. We chose hydro bed over any other bell bed company because we like the design of it, and we like the construction too and the ease of operation. Cable controlled hydraulics where you can ease a bale down on the ground or raise something up and just 
feather down the hydraulics was key to us. We thought that was the best way. And having synchronized arms, everything was always centered in the middle of the bed. And so that was uh, something we did not see in the other bell bed companies. When we started, the bell bed business was just pretty much two different players. And uh, we just liked the action of the hydro bed better. Um, Galen Ackerman is just really sharp on, on all the aspects of it. And uh, just really liked the way he was uh, developing the bed. Key elements in Galen Ackerman's initial design, which are still in use today, were flush mount bale handling arms that provide a true flatbed, a pivoting arm design that allowed for maximum grip range and arm to bale clearance for unobstructed unrolling, and mechanical free float unrolling to isolate truck and operator from jarring caused by out of round bales and rough terrain. It's pretty wide range of customers. Well, in fact, uh, We've mounted a bed on anything from a 1964 Chevy clear on up to some uh, $50,000 trucks. So our customers are, cover that wider range also. And most of them are uh, just trying to get more convenience, get more work done. We're glad that we can sell something that, that serves them well. The 30 Series Hydra Bed, introduced in 2013 for the company's 30th anniversary, stays true to the HydraBed's legacy of providing practical solutions to real ranch problems. The 30 Series HydraBed, when we came out with it, was a huge step for us to make a step in the direction of being considerate of the appearance of the truck. The beds were solid, durable, long-lasting, but they didn't have many stylish features. Everything was built for strictly utility, and they were going on trucks that cost anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000. In modern day, if you go and buy a new truck, normally your common farm and ranch truck that comes through our dealer network anyway that we see is between forty dollars and $60,000. And we thought if someone is wanting to spend forty dollars to $60,000 on a truck that they would prefer to have a bed that looked as nice as the truck did or as close as we could come to it. One of the first things that we wanted to do was add LED lights for safety, visibility. So when we added the LED lights, we decided to move them up to the headache rack as well to have stop and tail lights and turn lights in the headache rack and it seemed like a good opportunity at the stoplight to put a name badge with our name on it with a stainless steel just for a little flash on the back of the bed. One thing we did not want to do when we made the changes was compromise anything that we knew to be proven to work very well. These changes, these things that we've added to the truck are purely aesthetic for the most part but everything that we've done was, was with the customer in mind and we wanted this thing to last well beyond their years if they wish. I think just about every bed that we've ever built, unless it was wrecked, is still operating. So what we want to provide is a good value to the customer with, with the best product that we can build. Uh, when it was first designed, it was uh, used It was used for uh, 3,000 pound bales at that time. Um, bale weights right now are significantly lower than that. So um, we've not taken any of the, the structural details um, that make it what it is. So it, some people say overbuilt piece of equipment, but, but we know it's going to last. The record sales that we've experienced in the last three to, to four years has just been continually growing, partly due to market conditions and partly due to us doing a good job and building a good product. These beds are made in the USA by local individuals, and at the end of the day, each one of them wants to see a customer happy. Each one of these guys knows what it's like to get a good value for your dollar and do a great job to help make that happen. The Hydrabed legacy would be um, that it was, you know, that is a very rugged, dependable piece of equipment uh, with a company standing behind it all the time. Cattlemen and women all across North America have come to appreciate the durability, ease of operation, and the dependability of all Triple C products. A very unique thing I, I feel about this company is. Uh, the, the closeness we have with our customers and the, the support that we, we have for, for everyone involved that the customer is going to come first and we're not going to cut corners and, and if an unfortunate issue were to arise we're going to do everything that we can to take care of them as quickly and as painlessly as we can because we know um, what this piece of equipment means to their operation and they really can't afford to be down. This company is committed to continue to look for things to make the rancher's life easier. Um, we're not going to go to market with something just to go to market with something new. We want to have something that's going to be worthwhile and make a difference and solve someone's problem.
For more information, visit www.triple-c-inc.com.